What's happening, everybody? Welcome, Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are inside of the MetaHuman Creator in Unreal Engine 5.6, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take your clothing to the next level and actually have it adjust to your character's body dimensions instead of like this, where it's just the character has to be the right character to fit the clothing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go in and start. And the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the hair for sure because these grooms are gonna try to reload every time you do something and it already takes long enough for things to load up in here. So definitely remove your groom if you're using one. First, I wanted to show you an example that I actually have already that I did with one of the outfits that I was using before. So we'll go here to the Strider outfit and I can show you that I already have created a clothing item that works in the outfit section. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this Strider and put it right here in outfits. And you should see it there. We're going to go ahead and remove these clothing items and we're going to put on our strider. All right. And so there it showed up and we can go to our material and remove the top underwear here. So that way it's not interfering with the mesh. So there we go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we are going to go and edit the body. So let's go to the body. And since this is a MetaHuman from a previous version and we imported it, we are going to perform this parametric fix. Otherwise, you cannot adjust the size of that MetaHuman. So there, it's that quick. So now we should be able to go to the body and we're going to go to model and we'll go down and I'm just going to change the hip dimensions. So we will move that in. And you'll see that when you let go, it's going to fit the outfit to the body mesh. Now we're going to go ahead and go like that. And you will see that once you have the groom off of the character, that it will update rather quickly. You can see she has a really small waist. All right. Going to change the thighs here. We'll make the thighs a little bigger and then you'll see it adjust. And like I said, it's a little slower than I'd like it to be, but still really good, really good. We're gonna do the calves now, I'll make the calves a little bigger, and then you'll see the body mesh catch up, and there you go. So you can see that literally we can adjust the items to fit our characters rather well here. All right, so let's go ahead and go in and I can show you how I actually did this. First, you want to have a folder where you are storing your clothing, which I have one here called clothing. And I'm just going to create a new folder and we're going to try to do this Ranger outfit. What I'm going to do is we are going to go to the folder here and you need to select the section where you are going to store your clothing. And I'm going to make a new folder here and I'm just going to name it Ranger outfit. It's going to close our MetaHuman, so we'll have to open it back again. We are going to start up and the first thing we're going to want to do is create a cloth item. So put cloth and you should see cloth asset. I'm just going to call this Ranger. All right. And it should automatically create this data flow asset. We want to go ahead and open this. And once inside here, you're going to see there's a blueprint. We're going to go to this blueprint and what we're going to do is right click and just put import and you should see in skeletal mesh and static mesh import. We want to do skeletal mesh import. Once you create your skeletal mesh import, the first thing we're going to do is actually get our skeletal mesh that we want to use for our clothing. So let me go ahead and find that. And that should be under this mesh here. And we're going to do the whole outfit. I'll do separate items later, but right now we're just going to do the full outfit. So you just can highlight this or drag it however you want to do it. And you just want to put that item here. And once it updates, because we have not done any skin weight transfers for this, is that we want to actually just replace this spot here. And we don't have to worry about this USD import. It's going to take a little second and then you should see your item pop up here as mine did. Now you can see that it disappears. This is due to LODs. Uh, we can turn that off in our MetaHuman so that it will not snap out like that. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and save this. Now we can test this by actually putting our skeletal mesh that we use for our character, which mine is going to be my MetaHuman folder. And I was using Kipaki Tall 50 body with this. Uh, we can use the 5.6, that body will work as well. We just need to get a body that this 
item actually fits. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Kapaki body here and we're going to place that here and you'll see that the body pops in. Now we can go ahead and select an animation. So we can just select an animation just to see if the character actually works and if the mesh actually is bonded correctly. So I'm going to just pick idle and there we go. So now you can press play and you should see your character idling. So that way you know that this is actually bonded and it is working. Now, a couple of things to note while you're in here is that you can actually adjust your closing position using this transform positions node. And then you can use the 3D SIM, you can highlight this and then you can actually adjust the scale and everything of the clothing here. And then also you will notice that your uh, textures for your clothing show up here. And if you click on this transform skin weights, you should see the skin weights for your character here. And if there's anything wrong, you'll see like literally the skin will pop through here and you will see this. So this is very nice. It's a little preview just to let you know what your skin weights look like. Now, the next thing we want to do is we are going to go back to our meta human creator folder, make another back in our clothing, back in Ranger outfit. And we're going to this time create an outfit asset. So let's go ahead and type the word outfit. And there's the outfit asset. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to put Ranger here. And then here, this is very important. What we want to choose for what we are doing is a resizable outfit. We'll go ahead and pick that and you'll see another data flow asset will appear here. And now we can open this up and inside we want to go to the sized outfit source and our sized outfit source is going to be our original Ranger chaos cloth asset. What we want to do here is go to where it says sized outfit source. We want to click on this and in the drop down, you'll see here that we can apply our chaos asset here. All right. So now that we have that, we can actually go down to the source body parts. And once again, we want to use our body. So I'll go to my meta humans. I will go to my tall five, six. I'll go to my body and we want to grab our body mesh and put that in here. Now this may take a moment, so I'll pause and I'll return once it's done. Now with that complete, you want to go ahead and save everything. We're going to go back into our meta human creator folder again, go back to our clothing, go back to our Ranger outfit. And now we want to go ahead and create our final asset. And that is going to be our wardrobe asset. So you want to go ahead and type wardrobe and then go ahead and select the new meta human wardrobe item here. And I am just going to call mine ranger so and i'm just going to type mi and then underscore wardrobe item so now that we have this we can go ahead and open this once you have this open then you want to go ahead and pick out your principal asset which for us is going to be this outfit asset we want to put this here next we want to drop this down and this is your pipeline you want to use the metahuman outfit pipeline as we are making a full outfit and now we can save all of this. Now that should be everything. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to apply this to our metahuman. So let's go and open our metahuman up here and I should have my metahuman here and we're going to wait for that to open and I'll be right back. You can either create your own new metahuman to apply this to by going here and just typing meta human and then going down and you can get the meta human character and you could create a meta human character. I already have my character, so I'm just going to apply it to this character. So the next step that we're going to want to do is go down to our bodies and go down to our outfit clothing. And we are going to go get our MI Ranger. Actually, it should be WI. My bad. I named it wrong. There we go. Wardrobe item. So we need to make that a W. My bad. Now you want to just go ahead and drag that in. And if it does not populate, as you've seen, mine did not do, then we're going to have to do a restart. So I'm going to go ahead and restart and I'll be right back. All right. Once back in, I was able to go ahead and just drag this in and it dropped fine. So now that we're in here, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to go to my materials. I'm going to go ahead and put my top back on. 
We don't need YouTube getting mad. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this item and we're gonna apply this one. So let's see what happens. And it looks like it went on and you can see it's already adjusted to my character's dimensions. So that's pretty much it. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and test this out fully by going to the body. And you can see we have our dimensions here for the body and we are going to go ahead and model and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make her chest size a little larger so let's do that so we'll, we'll go ahead and we're going to bump her chest up a little bit you'll see that the outfit's going to adjust to that let's see i'm going to take the span down and you're going to see that that fits so no matter what I do, the outfit is going to adjust. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just put that back and then you'll see that the outfit's going to adjust back. All right. So that's pretty much it. That is how you do it in a nutshell. Um, now you have outfits that will fit your metahuman as you adjust its body proportions. I will definitely be back with another one. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications, and share the content so you know when I drop something new. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.